Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Happy Pride. Uh, Pride is today and tomorrow, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get a tattoo this morning. Just a little one, just a little one. Dancing for this. Yum. I love these things so much. Um, and the first time James tried it, he like double took like that was so delicious. Give me another bite. Peter is off getting his tattoo. And I need to finish this vlog so our day can begin. There it is. All bandaged up, ready to go. Simple tattoo over at Pink Rhino. Pride is going on on North Edison, so there's traffic there. Um, we're gonna go there later, but I'm gonna call Sarah because I'm gonna grab lunch to bring home. Love it, simple little moon tattoo. I'll explain more, you know what? In a nutshell, it's all about going to the moon and back. So it's like a, it's in remembrance of the IVF journey we have gone on and may continue to go on. There's a book that we read to James that explains IVF to little kids about how, you know, his two parents went to the moon and back for him and for all of our children. It's a homage to It's a Wonderful Life, the Alas of the Moon for Sarah, if that's what she wants. And it's a commitment that no matter what I do in life, whether it's for my friends, family, loved ones, children, Sarah, that um, I'll get it done and I'll go back, I'll go to the moon and back to accomplish anything I set my mind to, so. There it is. Plus Sarah likes to call, she, it's her favorite kind of moon is a toenail moon. And there's a toenail moon. Jamesy, do you like those veggie straws I picked up for you? Look at daddy's, look at daddy's hand. Ooh. Do you like it or no? It's different. I see it? No, you're okay with it? He likes it, but from afar. salads nice and cold and refreshing gonna have some for Jamesy when he wakes up yeah a little half with 
the Whole Foods bean across the street. So I am off in this little alleyway just meeting Teddy and we looked at the schedule tonight for like the performances and there is a Queen cover band at 7 o'clock so that's really like our goal for the evening and yeah you can hear the stages from far away so we won't have to be up you know in the crowd or anything so we're just so grateful to live in this neighborhood to be able to come here with our kids this year so much fun Pride. You play with this rainbow flag. Play eat snacks all day long. <laughs> While your little brother nurses. All right, so we are waiting another like 20 minutes for a Queen cover band. We're like buy some porta potties, but it's quiet over here. That right there is. Yeah, you couldn't hear Sarah. This building right here. It's actually the PetSmart. Next to PetSmart is my old orange theater I used to go to. Um, it, the building's making it quiet. It's making it warm for Teddy. James is snacking. We're playing. I might go take him to see those balloons across the street. But at 7 o'clock, the Queen cover band is playing. We're going to do our best to get to that point. And then after the Queen cover band, we're out of here. We're right here. My brother, I haven't seen in like an hour. I don't know where he is, where are the people he's with are. Uh, I told them like, hey, we're gonna take the sidewalk with the stroller, you guys go adventure, we'll meet you at the PetSmart. So, I assume they'll show up eventually, but if not, I hope they're having a great time at Pride, because it's a great time. I, Sarah, it wasn't last year they had like a dog parade? Was it already or is it tomorrow? There's a different festival that we're hoping to go to tomorrow, but I would love to stop by here if the dog festival is going on tomorrow. Let's get it, baby. Hey, here we go. number two, ride number one, good and done with. Really good time. It's fun seeing some family and friends there. Yeah. Tomorrow, I mean, Pride's going on tomorrow, but we're, yeah. we're gonna do uh, Taste of Randolph tomorrow. Yeah. But it is nice, like it's just our neighborhood, so if we wanted to- Yeah, if we wanted to stop in, we could. I was worried, James got some beef. He didn't lose them, no, he, he's got them. <laughs> he's the kid who loves his beads. All right, so we're home now, it's 820. We're debating if we're gonna get pizza or if we're gonna heat up leftovers. Here's the amazing Chicago pride flag we bought. 
Um, we went and went back to pick up one for Carolyn and Ben Earhart, and when we did that, I had Teddy with me, and the guy was like, hey, that's a cute baby. Take this, you are beautiful pride flag. So, that's cool. Um, don't have anywhere to hang that because we can't hang it in the windows here at our apartment for our lease, but one day we will fly them. And how do you calm down for the rest of the evening after Pride? You put on Polar Express. Right? You love a good Polar Express, don't you? Look at the doggy. Eve, there are so many dogs at Pride. I'm sorry, myself. Yeah. Maybe next time. Look how busy Pride was. We're just a few blocks away. Getting some, some takeout. So it's definitely the next day. We crashed. Peter and I talked about how extra tired we are, and obviously, we knew having two kids was gonna be hard. But we are not the Brook Car Project that goes to bed at 2 a.m. anymore, are we? It is Father's Day. We have a despicable me on, um, and we have a lot more fun fun to have today. So thanks for coming along, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>